started at West Park 15 years ago with two simple cameras and a simple switcher. For audio, we had a microphone and a tape recorder. The reason the course was set up was because of the interest on the part of the student and the belief on the part of the teacher that students needed to understand this most powerful medium of communication. The average student graduating from grade 12 has spent 15,000 hours watching television. They have spent more time watching television than in school. The only thing they have done more than watch television in their life is sleep. This course is not set up to make directors or camera people out of students. Some students do, however, use the course as stepping stones to college, universities, and eventually to careers in television. But the course is specifically set up to give students a better understanding of television. By understanding what goes on behind the scenes and by understanding the techniques of television, students will become discriminating viewers. They should know what is good and bad television, as well as when they are being manipulated by the medium. When students first come into the course, they are given an understanding of the equipment and the techniques of television. Following this, students gain an understanding of why and how commercials are made. Then, students write and direct their own commercials. This hands-on practical approach to television commercials gives the student a good understanding of how commercials are made. The depth of this understanding could not be gained in any other way. Following commercials, we take the same approach to news and documentaries. Television Arts is a particularly good course in developing skills. Most important are the basic skills of reading and writing and research. This not only happens with course content and notes on the board, but also for productions. For each student and for each production, an idea has to be developed, researched, and then a script is written. By examining various types of programs and how we communicate, students develop the critical skills of interpretation, evaluation, and analysis. Through this, students become discriminating viewers. Students will develop skills of manual dexterity and motor ability while handling different pieces of equipment, social skills of responsibility and cooperation, as well as skills of self-expression and communication are developed to their fullest. And of course, the student must use their imagination and creative skills in all aspects of the course. Television is the most common and accepted form of mass communication in North America today. This is not an opinion, this is a fact. Television is now introduced into schools. Any language, written or otherwise, has a formal structure with rules and guidelines to allow its users to arrive at a common understanding or to communicate. Television literacy and visual literacy also have form and structure to their language. When one ignores this, one allows the medium, whatever it may be, to control the user instead of the user control the medium. This is why so many people spend so many wasted hours in front of a television or would sooner watch a poor drama as opposed to an informative documentary. Television is a language, and as such, needs to be understood. It is possibly the most influential medium of our age, and as such, students should be made aware of its methods, motives, and techniques. The course requires that students bring together academic, motor, and social skills to produce television programs. McLuhan stated, in today's complex technological society, a child needs three languages, written English, spoken English, and the language of the screen. Courses in television 
are courses for a new age. Upon the screen is there. 
on the track.
Hey you. Hey you. Hey you. Come here. Come here, you. Come here, you. Hey you. Come here. You. I said 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 you with the tail. You come here, you. Yes, you. Come here. Go away. Come here. Hey you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Go away. Come here. Go away. Stop. Come here. Come here. Come here. Go away. Go, come here, you. I said you. I said you. I said you, mate. I said you. I'm looking at you, mate. I said you, mate. I said you come here. I said go away. Didn't you kill my brother? <laughs> I do, I mean a manhole cover. I've got a brain like a jukebox. Hey, didn't you kill my brother? I got a job as a petrol pump for the government undercover. Come here, I want to talk to you. Hey, didn't you kill my brother? Didn't you kill, didn't you kill, didn't you kill my brother? Didn't you kill, didn't you kill, didn't you kill my brother? I like a laugh. I'm what you call an animal lover. I like North Korean shit. Here, didn't you kill my brother? <laughs> Look, I've only known you for ten minutes. I've only known you for ten minutes. But you're the best pal I've ever had. You're the bestest pal I've ever had. You're my mates. You and me mates. Yeah, my kid, didn't you kill my brother? Didn't you kill, didn't you kill, didn't you kill my brother? Didn't you kill, didn't you kill, didn't you kill my brother? Didn't you kill, didn't you kill, didn't you kill my brother? Kill my brother. You 
bought him a pint of lava, didn't you killed him? You killed my brother. I saw ya, I saw ya. Didn't you kill my brother? You did a very nice job. I really must congratulate ya. Didn't you kill, didn't you kill, my, didn't you kill my brother? Didn't you kill, didn't you kill, my, didn't you kill my brother? Didn't you kill, didn't you kill, didn't you kill my brother? Didn't you kill, didn't you kill, my, didn't you kill my brother? West Park is special to me because it's a small, friendly atmosphere and you get to know everyone in the school really well and the teachers are great because they help you a lot. If you have a problem, you can go and talk to them about almost anything. Um, it's just a great school. I just really like it. For like three years I've been here, I've really enjoyed the teachers. I think they're really nice and they're really helpful. If you, if you need help, they're really easy to talk to. Um, and everybody's pretty friendly. You know everybody really well really friendly environment. Well, personally, I think the courses are, are great here, and they've prepared me a lot for university because I wanted to go into film in university, and so I've been taking the television arts courses. And if I hadn't come to West Park, I would never have heard of that. And so it's given me a lot of experience, and it's given me a lot of opportunity to go on to university. I think that the courses are really good, um, but computer courses are very helpful because a lot of jobs now, in, you need computer skills, and it's just the teachers for it are great. And I think the TV arts programs also, it's really interesting, it's fun, and it's a lot of, you pick up a lot of knowledge from it. It's, it, it. It prepares you really well, I think. Well, West Park is really special to me because um, during my five years at West Park, um, I really got to know the teachers um, as, as almost like friends. Uh, while I was here and and I found that the teachers really cared for me as a person and so even when I come back and visit West Park I always will be able to talk to the teachers and and uh, walk the hallways and and feel at, feel at home because I mean I have uh, such good memories from all my five years the thing I like about the curriculum at West Park is that uh, there's a big emphasis on computers and on uh, technical courses uh, West Park's got a big great um, technical wing where, where a whole range of courses are offered and, and uh, people who are even taking uh, uh, subjects more or less in the sciences or maths can always take a, a few good technical courses and alongside that the big emphasis now I think is on computers and, and uh, I think uh, all students take uh, uh, one or two computer courses a, a year especially now and that, that's really good to prepare them for, for further work or, or wherever they're going to go. I think uh, West Park definitely has prepared me really well for, for where I am now, which is in university. And um, the way that it's prepared me is through familiarity with computers and uh, with a solid background in, in the sciences, which, which I'm studying now. I found that when I first got to university, uh, my science and my math knowledge through the OECs w was, was really uh, solid. And, and I found that the stuff I was learning in university was almost... Um, uh, a repeat of what I saw in West Park. And the second thing is now at university I do uh, everything on computer and uh, if I hadn't really taken uh, computer courses at West Park uh, and really gotten familiar with uh, computers uh, I would have basically been lost right now in university. I think the staff at West Park are really what make the school really great and um, uh, like I've, I've, I've made some really nice friendships with with a, quite a few of the staff members that even now when I when I come and visit the school I can always talk to them as friends 
And while I was at school, um, the teachers were always involved in, in uh, other things outside of their own classrooms, I mean, in sports or, or, or you know, in coaching and things like that. And that's where um, we really got to know the staff as people and found that they really do care for individual students and willing to make time outside of class to help you out uh, for studying or for making up a test. Like they were always willing. West Park has helped our family in um, helping us with the education of the children. Uh, we feel comfortable with them coming here. We don't have any apprehension about them having difficulties at the school. The uh, teachers are, are more than happy to discuss with us different uh, changes in their schedule or the subjects that they choose or whether they need to choose different subjects than what they have selected that uh, we can uh, call. They certainly make us feel like a family here and um, we can call at any time and uh, we feel comfortable. It's, it's great. The curriculum at West Park is varied. It has a, a wide spectrum of subjects. The courses that they can select uh, range from the academics to the computer programs to the shops. Um, no matter what your child needs for his education, I feel that it's available here for them. Uh, they can select anything from the grade 9 to the OAC levels. They have opportunities to change if they feel that they would like to have something different than what they had originally uh, started with. Uh, it has everything that uh, is needed for the education at the secondary school level. Educational institutions need to address several issues in order to fulfill the needs of business, institutions, and industry uh, in this country. And one of the most important things they need to do is to focus on what are the trends that are taking place globally, what are their impact of these, what is the impact of these trends on the industry and business, and how can we as educators deliver the types of people that industry needs. And what we find taking place that in 80% of our economy, as uh, mentioned by Noella Beck in her study, Shifting Gears, uh, the indication is that there are four major engines that are driving this economic growth. Uh, those engines include computers, uh, medical, uh, instrumentation, and communication. And it is these four engines that are primary, primarily driving the economic growth that is taking place in the country today. Briefly to discuss these, computers include both the hardware, the production of actual equipment, the, inst the actual software that goes along in powering the brain of the computer, but it involves also people that are technicians and technically minded in working in repairing and extending the uses of the computer. So if you're looking at job creation as an example, this area alone now supersedes the car industry, and that's something that surprises a lot of people because they th still think of the car industry as being a very important component, yet this group that involves the actual production of computers, the servicing of computers, the actual creation and innovation of, of software programs has taken over as the number one engine. Now second to that, and looking at another area, is the medical field. And as the population tends to age, with the baby boomers reaching the middle ages, there is a very large segment of the population in North America that needs assistance from the medical community. And a lot of this is the kind of assistance that prevents things from happening. And therefore, a tremendous amount of research has gone on, new products and services are developed to assist the person as they enter the age where aging becomes a key consideration that there are new products and services available for that market segment, and that's a tremendously growth area. The third area that, of course, we hear a lot about today with the recent takeover of Roger, by Rogers of McLean Hunter Cable here locally is the fact that communications and telecommunications is, again, a growing area. Today, we are finding that programs, both learning programs and other programs, can be delivered via the computer using live, interactive television networking to achieve results that were only dreams a few years ago. 
And again, this whole area that involves not only the production and development of programs, of communications, of, of tremendous amount of television channels that are specifically keyed to individual uses, but also as well, the, again, the technical work that's required to make this a reality. And finally, instrumentation. Again, development of high-tech, high-touch equipment. Uh, replacing costly, very expensive traditional units. It's the same area as IBM used to have a market on, on mainframe computers. And then uh, along came two fellows that monkeying around in the garage were able to take and develop a personal computer called the Apple. And using that technology and that ability has placed the computer on the desk of every person that works in business and industry today. Again, welcome to the knowledge age. But the instruments are themselves very critical, important in identifying and preventing certain things from happening, and they're found everywhere in airplanes and automobiles and so on. Think of the so sophistication of things that warn us ahead of times of possible dangers, and you can see the importance of in instrumentation as part of it. Given that that is the environment that business is growing into today, it requires a whole new set of skill sets that we've talked about. It requires the schools not only to provide the traditional skills of reading, writing, and arithmetic, but it involves the schools in looking at creating these enterprising teams that are creative, that are risk-oriented, they're not afraid to make mistakes, Mistakes have to be encouraged because that's how we grow and that's how we learn from our mistakes. And it's essential, therefore, for individuals to have an opportunity to become part of this kind of environment. Therefore, in, 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 to summarize, in looking at computers and looking at medical and looking at communications and instrumentation, uh, it's my assessment that West Park currently is accessing three of those areas. The, the computer field, the instrumentation field, and the communications field. And I think you're making a tremendous contribution and providing a tremendous learning opportunity for young people to become aware of the kinds of opportunities that will be available to them once they've completed the course, once they've identified for themselves that this is an area they wish to pursue and have developed the necessary skills that will go with it. And I congratulate you on that effort. Today, uh, industry, especially the automotive industry, the one that I work in, is uh, extremely competitive, not only on a domestic level, but on an international level. And some of the skills that companies are looking for are um, to be a good team, team player. Uh, things are not done on an individual basis anymore. It requires a team because things are so complex. Also, you have to be a good communicator. You could have all the knowledge in the world if you don't know how to communicate it with your fellow employees or with your uh, subordinates or supervisors, uh, things take a little bit longer to get done. Sometimes they don't get done the way you need them to be done. Uh, other skills, of course, there's a lot of technical uh, requirements. Uh, computers have entered the uh, industry some five to ten years ago, and uh, they continue to be of greater and greater importance. Uh, one example in, in the body shop where I work, uh, we have a, uh, a laser measurement system, and it's all computer-based. It, what it does, it measures each vehicle in different stages and determines if our process is in control or not. And it's based on statistical process control. So uh, a knowledge of statistics is also very important in, in determining if our vehicles are being built correctly or not. My name's Peter Zujic. I'm a uh, former graduate, or I'm a graduate, a former graduate of West Park Secondary School. Um, I currently work at Ford Motor Company at Oakville Assembly Plant. Uh, my position there right now is a processing engineer in the body shop, and that's where we put together all the sheet metal to comprise the body of the new Windstar van, which we've just recently launched. Uh, some of my responsibilities are to help improve processes as we go along. Also, we work to uh, ensure dimensional integrity, to make sure that everyone gets a quality product out in the road. There's also a large variety of courses you can take at West Park. They range from technological courses to arts courses, and of course we have our maths and Englishes and other courses that are necessary for further education. Um, you touch on a variety of topics. The computer courses are very good. We have high quality staff that help you through computer courses and things like that will, that will help you in the future. 
in businesses since computers are taking over. It's going to be a very technological world, and West Park really prepares you for that. West Park has been a great assistance to uh, three of my four daughters. When they entered the high school, they really didn't know what they were getting themselves into, and they really didn't know what direction they were going to go into. But uh, now, one of them has already graduated from college. Two of them are on their way out of high school into post-secondary education. And West Park has really given them a good foundation on which to build. The options here at West Park has been terrific. Uh, the TV arts program has uh, been great for my one daughter. And my other daughter is now in OAC, and she's planning to go on to Western. And I really think West Park has given them a great foundation on which to uh, build their future. The computer program here at West Park has been a great aid to uh, my daughters in that uh, no matter what they go into, there's going to be computers. We have a computer at home, and uh, I find they're, they're faster at the computer than I am. And it's all thanks to the computer program here at West Park. The uh, program's very broad, and it covers all aspects of the computer trade, uh, both in how to set it up and how to use it. And I'm really impressed with it, and I'm glad that com the West Park High School has been selected as the, uh, one of the computer schools of St. Catharines. I definitely believe West Park is preparing the students for the future, and no matter what line of work they're in, uh, or whatever level they're headed to, whether it's on to college, on to university, or maybe some of them are going right on to work. Uh, they've had good backing from the staff, and I think that's number one. You have to have the people that are going to go the extra mile with you in the school itself uh, to make you feel comfortable, to make you feel wanted. And I think not only my son, but the students that he uh, spends time with, they're happy kids, and, and there's never been any trouble. Uh, when you bring students from all over the city and put them together in one school and hope things work out, this is the school you want to send them to, because when they come out of here, they're ready. West Park helped my son in a lot of ways. I think when he came into West Park in grade nine, he had no idea what he was going to do by the time he graduated. Now he's going to graduate, and he's now has three different interests, uh, which has come largely through the communications and the TV arts program. He has a couple of different options that he never had when he started, and, uh, and that's really something. Uh, West Park's decision to become a communications uh, expert in the secondary school level, I think it's, a, it's an excellent choice and a, f a fabulous opportunity for its students. Uh, with the uh, upcoming super, uh, super media network, where information is the industry of the future, uh, I think you're giving the students uh, an excellent advantage. The staff at West Park is really something to be commended. Um, from the teachers, the guidance department, the secretarial staff, to the janitors, everyone here feels like part of a family or a group that's working together to help the children's education. The teachers have always been more than helpful. Uh, they're available to me at all times when I need to call them or discuss different subjects or problems that the children are having. The guidance teachers will come in at any time for me according to my schedule. Sometimes it's difficult for me to come in. I never feel that there's a problem for us to set up an appointment to talk about things. Um, the secretaries, uh, you can call and leave messages. They know who you are. They're very courteous. They're more than helpful to uh, assist in any way. I definitely think that West Park is preparing students for the future because uh, at university where I am now, um, computers are a big emphasis. And I think that um, those students I see around me there um, who don't uh, know anything about computers are basically having to do a lot of extra work. And, and the students who do uh, know a, a bit about computers are doing really well in finding the computers are helping them in their studies and writing up reports. And uh, the big emphasis in computers at West Park, I think, is really uh, 
uh, excellent for the future. I mean, the students that will come out in a few years from now will uh, really know a lot more than I ever did about computers. West Park, I feel, is preparing the students for the future in many ways. Uh, they have a wonderful computers program here, which no matter what career you select in the future, if you have some basic computer um, information and knowledge, uh, it will help you no matter whether you want to teach or be in medicine or whether you want to be in computers. All of the uh, subjects seem to be geared so that you can select any career in the future and have some of the basic information and background that will help you. Yeah, I graduated from West Park about 11 years ago, it was 1983, and uh, I still carry some fond memories from the, from the school from those years. Um, being prepared educationally, I thought uh, West Park did a fabulous job. I went to school at GMI, which is a uh, prestigious uh, engineering school in, in Flint, Michigan, and I was in the company of uh, some of the best students in the United States, the top 10 percentile, so I felt that uh, being chosen or being selected or accepted to go to GMI and being among uh, such high-ranking students from the States and also from other parts of Ontario, I said I, was de I felt I was definitely prepared for, uh, for post-secondary uh, school education. Um, my years here were, uh, were quite memorable. I know that the teachers were always given that second effort. I always found that uh, I had no problems approaching teachers for extra help if, uh, if required. A lot of times we, uh, there were discussions uh, outside uh, what was being taught in the classroom, but still pertinent to it. Uh, I know that uh, when I took drafting, my uh, teacher at that time was uh, Mr. Nepperly, and uh, he took time to, uh, to broaden our view of what technology was offering, uh, both in the drafting and, and engineering fields. And uh, this kind of opened my eye and the eyes of uh, my classmates to uh, the opportunities that were out there. Let me quote somebody that's known as a management guru. He's written boundless books. He's quoted all over the country. And that's Peter Drucker. And Drucker made a very interesting comment in his book, Innovation and Entrepreneurship, when he said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. And I think in this day and age, we have an opportunity to create our own future. Better than at any time, at any century, at any decade, to actually write our own text, to write our own future by becoming creative and innovative within the economic engines that we've outlined. And to prove this point, what better example than Jack Welsh, the president of General Electric, where he very clearly outlined the three important factors that led to the success of General Electric in the last decade and continues to power it in this one, and that is being boundaryless, looking for opportunities everywhere, not restricting yourself to a particular area, the speed that we need to have to react, and finally, the ability to stretch, to dream, to find a vision that we can aspire to. And even if we don't reach that exact vision, the fact that we've stretched will take us much further than we ever thought. Now, Welsh embodied this philosophy within his organization, and he did it very successfully to the point that grew General Electric. And looking at that, then, work itself will be redefined. Constant learning and more higher order thinking. And these are areas, again, that we need to address more today, and that is looking at the skills that have, again, uh, being creative, being a risk taker, uh, learning what needs to be known about that specific field, but at the same time as you specialize, being general enough to be able to apply it to other areas. And that essentially uh, fulfills what business and industry is looking for. And if we take that, and if we look at the trends, I think we're getting a pretty clear picture that computers, that instrumentation, that communications and medical are pointing in that direction. And if, uh, as we see here at West Park, these areas are being addressed, students are more empowered to work in these particular fields, 
then again, we're creating individuals for the workplace of the 90s, of the 90s and beyond. West Park is very special to me and my family because I feel that it's a part of my family. It's an extension of my family. I know that the teachers and staff here are concerned with the education of my children. They are concerned with my children not only academically, but also physically and emotionally. I feel that they are looking at my children as part of their family too.